Hello, every mummy. I'm your US admin, Jennifer. Thank you, everyone, for being part of Monster High Doll Exchange. Big shout out to some of our admins. Um, Jem Howe is now Jem Gold or Gold. She was married about four months ago, so congratulations, Jem. And uh, congratulations, Sally Louise Neal, for the adorable new addition to your family. I've been waiting for Sally to maybe post at group, so I don't want to spoil any more details. And a big shout out and thank you to our other UK admin, Kathleen Nettle. Thank you so much, Kathleen, for posting an admin check-in every single day at group. And um, thank you so much for my Harry Potter birthday bundle that I got from Kath. Thank you so much. I love you. And uh, this is a good segue to my Harry Potter idea um, to sweeten the, the idea. What do you guys think about doing a um, Harry Potter photo theme? Or photo event and Harry Potter would be the theme. What do you think? We haven't done one for a while. But check this out. Look what I just noticed. See the similarities? Untucked shirt. The glasses. The hair. So comment in the field below if you would like to do that. Um, you could use any kind of products or merchandise or home decor items that you have for Harry Potter. Um, oh, speaking of things like that, I have my Potterhead enamel pin um, that I got from... These are um, fandom flare pins, which I think is still an Etsy shop. But you can also get Harry Potter items and other pop culture items from moremino.com. It's the same maker. Um, so you could try to do a Harry Potter theme with different things. Take some photos of your Monster High Harry Potter stuff. Um, like this, I also got Hermione from Walmart. I don't have all of these. Just I, I have Jenny. Jenny's my favorite one. Um, and here, speaking of Harry Potter... I want to show off my Harry Potter original artwork by Mona Fromm. Check out her Facebook page, Monastic Creations. Um, M O N A Nastic. No, M O Nastic. <laughs> Monastic Creations by Mona Fromm. And um, she, if you, if you like um, the artist Keen with the, the big bug eyes, K E. A N E, you'll love Mona's work because all of her creations have. Well, Scalita's aren't. The, the eyes, Mona's eyes get bigger than this, even. But here's a Scalita that Mona did. I haven't framed it yet. Um, I want to thank everybody for um, being awesome sellers and buyers. Um, we haven't had any buy sell trade disputes at Monster High Doll Exchange in quite some time. So I want to thank everyone for being, um, you know, top-notch, A-plus, buyers and sellers. Um, here's um, a, a benefit of the group. Um, I have, I got this from Billy Slater, also in the U.S., um, you know, used. I had the power goals in, um, boxed, and I never unboxed them, and I had to sell them online um, for money to pay bills. But I was able to get at a really um, great reduced price. I used um, Toralite, so I so I can still, um, I'm a completist. I like to have my lines and my con um, collections complete. So even though um, the line was discontinued by Mattel, um, Monster High can continue to have a, a life or unlife. Um, in, um, reselling online Facebook groups, uh, Facebook Marketplace, and even eBay um, for people who want to complete a line or are missing accessories for something. Um, and But mostly what I'm seeing um, are OOAK, one-of-a-kind customized dolls, are still going strong with so many artists, artists that have been um, working on them for me for years, like Donna Ann Masai and Catalan, um, Sabo Varga and um, Alicia Brown with Refabrications. Um, there's all kinds of original characters. Um, the Alicia, if you haven't checked out her Refabrications Facebook and her Instagram, then do so right away because um, 
Al Alicia or Alicia Al Alicia, she kicks major uh, hind quarters with her creations. She also does uh, s some sculpted original clay dolls and I think some plushies too. Um, I want to thank all the um, artists who are sharing and offering their um, original creations for sale at Monster Ho Doll Exchange. Everyone also remember to p cross post at Monster High Creative Exchange because that's that is um, open to the public. Anyone who does a Monster High search on Facebook and happens to come across the Creative Exchange group can see all of the posts. It's not a closed group, so I want to. And I'm probably going to mispronounce some names, so I apologize. But I want to thank Julia Nagacheva. Samuel Gonzalez, Ailish Corby, Haley's Repaints, Catalan, um, Zabo Larga, of course, Amanda Riker with her Ice Dragon, Whoa. um, Elena Doll Photo, A L E N A, um, Donna Ann Masai, of course, and um, Oliana, Oliana Victorivna. Um, she has some beautiful um, knitted clothing and dresses that fit different. Um, doll body types that are similar to Barbie and Monster High. And speaking of custom creations, I want to show off something I just finished. It took me about a week because of my real job. Um, this is not my design, but I made this. I've got it on Claudine. But the, um, the, cre the designer of the costume is for an original character created by Brittany E. Brewer. She's one of our former moderators. And uh, my printer's not very good, but Brittany um, designs these on, a, an, on um, some kind of um, software, some kind of program or app. And her colors are really vibrant. So I'm really proud of... I love Brittany's design, and I love the outfit that I was able to duplicate. It's very, very close. Um, and Brittany's going to put this costume on Katrine on a wear cat. So I made this little bitty bow for the tail, for Katrine's tail. So anyway, I'm, thank you, Brittany, because if it, if you didn't stay with me and keep me connected, I wouldn't, wouldn't have um, gotten that done. So I guess that's, um, all I wanted to to say um thank you so much everybody for being here and you never know Mattel might do some kind of online exclusive or an anniversary um you never know they could revamp something or have a limited release of something someday because um like strawberry shortcake came back um and there's hundreds of thousands of units of those that were distributed last year and the year before and that was decades um since they were rolled out by Kenner um, which is no longer in existence. And then there's like, um, Mago dolls, M-E-G-O, I think. I saw some Facts of Life, um, a little kind of more like a cross between an action figure and a doll, um, at Target. So that's a throwback line. So you never know if there might be some life left in Monster High, um, on a Mattel production scale. We'll just have to wait and see. So... Thanks, everybody, for um, continuing to be a part of our group, and um, I'll talk to you soon again, I guess. Bye.